Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, uh, please do feel welcome. If you're coming back again, uh, welcome as well. Uh, in today's video, as you can see, uh, this is a part two of uh, our kitchen renovation. Uh, I would, if you haven't watched the part one, I would highly recommend so that you will see the whole process of us uh, doing up our kitchen from scratch. Uh, on this part two of the video, we will be concentrating on doing up uh, the tiling of our kitchen. We decided, my husband and I, we decided to go for the simple, um, humble subway tile. It is white in color. We are trying to keep our kitchen uh, white and bright but also um, to have a lot of natural materials so that uh, it maintains um, our authentic and uh, the way we like the whole house to uh, match up. Uh, my husband uh, does not have experience in tiling. The first time he did tiling was when we were doing the bathroom renovation. That is also a video that um, is posted here on YouTube. I would also recommend that you watch it. Uh, it took quite a long while for him to do the tiles in the bathroom because the bathroom uh, walls were quite crooked. Uh, on this uh, kitchen uh, walls, it is quite straightforward it is not taking too long and uh, we are finding um, doing the brick laying of the subway tiles is far much easier with these smaller tiles than when he was doing uh, the bathroom tiles Uh, like us, if you're planning to um, do a kitchen makeover or upgrade uh, and you do not have um, a lot of resources, uh, you could consider uh, going like us, uh, budget, a budget-friendly uh, renovation. Uh, 
subway tiles are basically the cheapest kind of tiles you will find out there so and the effect um, after it's finished they will always turn out perfectly and uh, it doesn't matter how much they may cost it's just how they are laid out and how uh, they all come through with a whole uh, makeup that makes the difference so uh, if you're unafraid and uh, you are able like us to plunge in and just do a kitchen renovation on a budget this is one of the safest way to go uh, with subway tiles i would also say uh, if you want a different kind of color if you want to experiment with color there is a lot out there uh, we just wanted to keep um, we chose white we had white tiles before we chose white because uh, we decided with white if eventually we would want to change the colors of the wall uh, we could change um, and have a different look but still maintain that white look uh, overall So you can see on this side of the cooker, uh, the tiles have gone up and as you can see there is this empty space where we will be putting uh, a different uh, layer for the area as a kind of like a standout um, decorations with the same tiles but in a harem bone uh, style so that's where the hook is going to be going up the hood and uh, yeah as you can see it is going well uh, that is one day worth of uh, tiling and on the other side uh, since this is still a functional kitchen we are doing the kitchen while we are still using it so when one side is tiled we move things and uh, continue tiling on the other ones oh i need to tell you this uh, my husband has already installed not only the sink but he's also installed the tap uh, when i will be doing the proper kitchen tour then i will be talking about the tap and how it is functioning uh so as you can see here my husband now is uh, doing the herringbow uh, pattern on where uh, the kitchen uh, hood is going to be uh, located it's just right above the cooker and uh, on the borders he decided to use uh, one piece of a mosaic uh, tile which uh, he cut through um, 
and out of these pieces he was able to make a border for where he would distinguish uh, the herringbow uh, tile from the brick laying uh, pattern. So it is very, very simple. There are very um, many different kinds of mosaic tiles that you can choose from if you would want to uh, do exactly as we did to have a border for doing your um, hood and uh, yeah I think that was a very genuine and a genius way of just uh, distinguishing between, between those two areas by making that border which had just a little bit of a pop out of pop of color of gray and and black and uh, white and uh, it is actually surprisingly uh, going really well Uh, as you can see, my husband has been uh, hanging those two um, drawers on both sides. Uh, these cabinets were not there before. Uh, whatever was there, we got rid of it. These were the only two addition uh, drawers that we have actually purchased. The rest of the drawers on the lower cabinets, they are all what was there. We just painted them white. Uh, he was just uh, putting them there so that he would make sure that they fit before he removes them and 
will start applying the growth. We have decided to go with gray, a uh, very light gray. So in the bathroom we went with um, gray growth, but here we have we are having the same, but we are having light gray growth. So it might be just uh, a little bit visible uh, more than when it's popping out in the bathroom. So with the drawers uh, removed, uh, my husband is now starting to apply the root and uh, just like uh, putting in the towels, it doesn't take long. Uh, within a few hours, he was able to uh, finish finish grouting uh, both sides. And as you can see, when the root is wet, it is still showing, uh, looking very, very gray. But when it actually uh, dries out it will be uh, much lighter and uh, yeah as you can see uh, the herringbone uh, tiling pattern is really looking very 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 nice and the border uh, on the herringbone uh, pattern is really really looking nice as well and uh, yeah if if you like us you can always uh, experiment and play around with uh, different uh, patterns even when you are doing one space like the kitchen so the growth is all done on this side as you can see there is just a little bit left on this side uh, nothing much a little bit is done on this side but on this side uh, it's all done and finished uh, you can see it is light gray I don't know how it'll um, turn out when it is completely dry I think it will even uh, be more lighter um, everything is going as planned so yeah, I am happy with how everything has turned out and I love that decoration that my husband uh, decided to divide the brick uh, layer uh, pattern for the tiles and this uh, Haribo uh, style. So at the end of the day, you can do uh, all sorts of different things. Just be playful with the tiles that you have. You can use very simple tiles like we did. We did. We just decided to go for um, subway tiles, and with the subway tiles, you can come up with so different uh, ways of laying them. And uh, the results you will find out, like we have here, are absolutely amazing. So yeah, I think um, I will finish by saying that uh, if you like this video, um, please do remember to subscribe and also give us a thumbs up, uh, hit the notification button so that when I put out new videos, you do not miss. Uh, I will be putting out um, the final part of this kitchen renovation because we still have um, the floors to put in we still have um, the finishing bits uh, we will be uh, purchasing a dishwasher and also we will be putting the cabinets and finishing the painting of the cabinets and putting new hardware handles which I cannot wait to share with you so yeah uh, keep this going by uh, watching and liking and commenting and yeah and uh, 
I will definitely be doing my pantry which I do hope you will uh, be the biggest fans when it's all done and finished so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one